and Garden Television. What do you do when you have a great house in a great neighborhood but no curb appeal? That's the problem our landscape designers face on today's Landscapers Challenge. Can this young couple's front yard go from all driveway to the envy of the neighborhood? There's so many elements that we'd like to change or add that aren't already there. Find out next on Landscapers Challenge. Welcome to Landscapers Challenge. I'm Marianne Coran. Craig and Tara Rossi are very happy with the purchase of their 1950s ranch-style home. They love their backyard pool and the open feel of the interior of the house. Their front yard, on the other hand, could use some improvement. Most of the yard is taken up by an old circular driveway, and the house faces a busy street. Craig and Tara would like to create a better sense of privacy, but they don't want to shut themselves off from the neighbors. To find a solution, they're going to need professional help. Let's meet our homeowners now. I really like this house from when I walked in the door because I like, I like the openness. We always like to have people over and entertain, and I just think flow is really important in a house. One of the things we loved about the neighborhood was there was a lot of activity, a lot of people out walking around, and what we really kind of want to do with the front yard is create something that looks great from the street, that's inviting and welcoming, still gives us a little bit of privacy because it's sort of a busy street, um, but it's something where we'll be out there using it so we'll be able to see the neighbors when they're out doing their thing and walking by. Here we are at the end of our driveway in the front and looking at some of the things we definitely want to change, starting with the old driveway and you can see the cracks and the weeds and Hot the holes. potholes are starting up and another thing that we definitely want to get rid of, I'm sure, will be this old street light that's falling apart on us. We do want to keep our sycamore trees, they're really beautiful and mature and they're just starting to leaf up right now. What about you, Tara? Well, definitely these bushes are really old. So, I mean, they're just getting so ratty. I just think over time they just need to be replaced. And this is one of my pet peeves is the manicured sculptured bushes that we have. You know, it's just not, not the style. It's really dated and it really doesn't fit us, I, I don't think, either. While the couple wants to keep many of the mature trees, they're eager to replace some of the overgrown plants. Definitely want to lose the ivy. Citrus trees line the west side of the property, which Tara and Craig enjoy and would like to keep. Around the perimeter, they'd like to add an attractive wrought iron fence to separate them from the busy street. Maybe right around in this area, we would have, don't you think, a pedestrian gate? Yeah, and we would love to put along the gate, the climbing roses, and some flowers in front to bring color and some nice curb appeal when you pull up to the front and have some flowers to look at. To give Craig and Tara the pretty, practical, and private front yard they're hoping for is going to take some work. First, the Rossies would like to take out the cumbersome circular driveway that takes up most of the yard and create a new driveway in front of the garage. They need all new vegetation and a better sense of privacy. They'd like to put up a fence, but also keep the yard open to neighborhood activity. Finally, the Rossies want to give the entry to their house a welcoming look by creating a walkway. To do all this, Craig and Tara have a budget of $50,000 for labor and materials. Three designers are ready and willing to take on the challenge. Let's meet them now. Landscape architect Dennis Hickok has worked on a wide variety of projects, from luxury hotels to parks and residential estates. I started as an architect, studying as an architect, and I just enjoyed drawing. And I discovered landscape architecture going through architecture school of the arrangement of buildings and the spaces in between the buildings were more fun than actually doing the buildings. The Rossi house is a, a typical ranch house. The garden and the house are kind of all designed as one, and as soon as guests come onto the property, that's where I think we can have a really nice reception garden. It should be memorable on the first appearance or the first uh, arrival. Our next designer is Scott Zucker, an award-winning landscape architect. Scott won the 1996 Pride of the Community Award. The part that I love the most about my job is that I get to work with people and you know I love working with the clients and finding out what it is that they want what do they dream about I'm thinking about that all the time when I'm work when I'm actually sitting down and doing the design it's like are these people gonna love this design when I was walking up to the Rossi's house and looking at the property thinking boy this is this is a great canvas to work on their front yard right now with the circular drive it's really unusable what I see happening with that is making it like a park 
In our third spot is the husband and wife design team of Sonny and Susan Estrada. They started their own landscaping business over a decade ago. Sonny is a third generation landscaper. For me, um, landscaping is it's a, it's a very creative thing for me. Uh, it's very artistic. So I look at each landscaping as just a, compared to a painting. You take a painting, it always comes out different. And I have a business degree, and so I bring the business side, really. You know, I made it run like a business as opposed to that's the way an artist would run it, actually, you know, so. <laughs> it is challenging. You know, it's the fact that you have to come up with it, just something that's so beautiful that makes the homeowner just say, I want it. If it's done well and you like it a lot, you should be able to say, "When I, I can't wait to go home and see my front yard. All three designers have a real passion for landscaping, but who will come up with the right design to make our homeowners fall in love? You'll find out when they make their presentations next on Landscapers Challenge. Welcome back to Landscapers Challenge. Craig and Tara Rossi love their new house and their new neighborhood. All they need now is a new front yard. After meeting with three different landscape designers, the Rossies are ready to see the possibilities for turning their front yard driveway into a beautiful and inviting space. The first designer to present is Dennis Hickok. His plan is to give Tara and Craig an open front lawn. What I was kind of hoping to do was do a little miniature estate for your front yard. And what I was hoping to do here was just make a big, beautiful panel of green grass that you see from your breakfast nook. Dennis would use two types of grass to create a distinct rectangular area in the center of the lawn. The special lawn area will be graded really smooth and flat. With the Bermuda grass, it will look just like a billiard table. It will look really special. You can play croquet on it. You could set up a tent if you wanted to and have a party. Then, because of the wonderful sycamore trees you have, they cast great shadows on the ground. And you'll see out there is that when we cast shadows on the lawn, it becomes like a painting. At front and center of the yard, Dennis would put a wrought iron gazebo and hang a candelabra. Whether you're out there or not, it would look really, really nice with that real warm glow of candlelight on the lawn. When you're in the gazebo, I was hoping to do is just drop in a little bit of a, a flowering tree, I call it a cloud, of color just above the gazebo but below the canopy of the sycamores. That will then give us privacy from the street, not really cutting you off from all of that, but just a, a thin veil of flowers. The circular drive would come up. The portion remaining would undergo a special treatment. And then from here out, there's a process called chip seals. They put down like little stones on top of the asphalt. When you drive over it, it sounds like those old estates. The new pathway would be made of a flagstone similar to what the Rossies have on the side of their house. Dennis would also put in a new gate and front fence. Outside, he shows Tara and Craig what he has in mind. So we have two gates at eight foot a piece, and those can be operated you know, with a little remote control and, and open them up. And then next to it, I thought it'd be fun to have like a three foot passage uh, pedestrian mm -hmm. person gate, so to yeah. speak. Thank you so much, Dennis. Thank again. you very much. Thank you for showing us your design. Thank you very Thank much. You. Up next is Scott Zucker. His plan is to create a footpath through the center of the yard, starting at the front door. Okay, so here we are at your front porch, and this is the area that I want to expand. Mm -hmm. I want to take it out a bit more, so you have, and it makes the space a little more usable. Okay. To enclose the front of the property, Scott would build a custom-designed wrought iron fence. Here's a sample of what the fence and the gates would be made out of. I know this okay. is really heavy, so hold on. Um, it's solid, half-inch round stock, and this could be uh, worked into just about any shape you want. Jasmine and lavender trumpet vines would be planted to grow up around the fence and provide additional privacy. A large vehicle gate would open up to Craig and Tara's newly transformed driveway. Over here, a motorized double swinging vehicular gate. This opens up onto the driveway that right now is just plain concrete, taking that whole thing out. We replaced it with a colored or plain natural gray concrete drive. It would be probably an acid washed surface, so it brings up a little of the grain, gives it a little more um, antique look. Mm -hmm. Two rows of grass would help soften the new driveway. A pedestrian gate at the center of the yard would lead to a special sitting area. 
I want to start here, I want to continue here actually and take you into the garden because this is the crown jewel okay. of the garden. As you pass through, you're going to be walking on uh, large pieces of Arizona flagstone to match what you have that are set on sand. And they've got space around them or in between them to plant things like um, uh, Irish moss or thyme. Mm -hmm. As you walk around here, you're walking around a little raised area that's raised six inches. So you're going to step up to it and it's surrounded by Japanese maple. So I'm trying to create like a little enclosure here. A stone sphere fountain would be a unique centerpiece for this sitting area. This I've oriented right on the center line with your breakfast room. So when you're sitting in here, you're looking out, this is what you're going to see firsthand. Okay. And it's also right on center line with the gates. So as people are jogging by and they get a, a view here, they're going to see this whole area and okay. something very, very special. Great. Thank you. Great. Nicely. Sonny and Susan Estrada present the third design. They too would build a center path from the front door to the street with a few extra turns in between. The main feature is your walkway now. When you come in, you go up a little step, you go through your wooden gate, which is this right here, mm -hmm. and you're flanked by two columns which reflect the detail of the house itself that you have already. And this is a picture of what the gate and your driveway gate would look like. When you look out from the outside, or the inside out, you can still see out what's going by. And still is enough to give you a sense of security and a sense of this is my own domain. Right. A concrete driveway with an etched detail would replace the old asphalt one. This picture is just to get, tell, show you that we would do the scoring effect. It wouldn't be okay. triangular like this, but we just wanted you to see what the scoring effect would, would really look like. Now that you've gone through the gate, you go through this pathway. It's constructed out of flagstone. You go down another step, you come across his way, and then you go down another step, and then you continue across the walkway. On both sides of the walkway, a new lawn with mounds adds color and texture. And in passing through these areas, you come into a dry riverbed. This is the kind of feel we're kind of going for in the landscaping. All these details would be carried on throughout the landscaping here and along in the front also. We've got plants that have that blue color and gray, and then all the other colors that fall into are lavenders and blues and dark colored leaves. Mm -hmm. All those things look very nice in the landscaping. We have a new front porch, and we thought that would be a great place to put a couple of decorative pots. Mm -hmm. Outside, Susan explains how the stone on the front of the house would match the new columns by the gate. The wall treatment that we have here is actually, this next to the window, is 16 inches wide. So that's exactly what we want to do to make the pillar up okay. in front. That's and great. Look just like that. Makes it very easy to visualize. Yeah, exactly. Good. Well, thank you guys so much for showing us your Thank design. you. Well, thank wonderful. you. Thank you. It's, it's our funny. pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Sunny. Nice to be here today. With three elaborate presentations, it could be a hard decision for Tara and Craig to make. Whose design will they choose? We'll find out when Landscaper's Challenge continues. So, you know, I think I already know which one I like the best. You do? Yeah. Because I think I do. I hope it's the same I one. Yeah. Doesn't women get to choose? Oh, okay. <laughs> but you got to choose everything inside now. Welcome back to Landscaper's Challenge. I'm Marianne Coran. A week has passed since Tara and Craig were presented with three different designs for their front yard. There were a lot of great ideas, but luckily Craig and Tara both like the same design. Do they dream of playing croquet on Dennis Hickok's open lawn? Or would they rather sit and gaze at the fountain in Scott Zucker's park-like garden? Maybe they would prefer a nature walk through Sonny and Susan's dry riverbed. Let's find out who the Rossies chose. We just asked each other right now, who would you pick? And we and both picked the same person. Yeah, so we, but still we took all the boards, put them out on the dining room table, looked at them, and we had and, friends come over. And then it ended up that everyone really liked the same one that we liked, so it was kind of a clear choice in our heads who to pick. That's so Scott Zucker. We picked Scott. So Scott, how do we how do we make this happen? How do we bring it to reality for us? Well, this is the exciting part. First thing I'm going to do is what are called the working drawings, uh -huh. the blueprints. Okay. And they're going to guide your contractor. They'll come back. We'll go over the plants. Right. We'll go over materials, and then we'll get going. That's okay. So exciting! I can't wait to get started. I know. Me too. I yeah. know. So this is the fun part now to see yeah. it all come to life. It is for me too, actually. Yeah. I like it. Scott quickly gets a contractor working on the job. With the old driveway gone, construction on the new one begins. Soon it's time for Tara and Craig to find a fountain for their relaxing sitting area. Didn't Scott show us a picture of this one? Yeah, it's it, like soda water's coming out of it. 
and bubbles it's in really it. It's really pretty. Hey, Craig and Tara. Hi, Hi how yes. are you? Very Scott, good. It's good, good to see you. Good to see you. Hi. Oh, are you ready to pick out your perfect Yeah, fountain? there's so it. many beautiful things here. There is. Yeah. This is my favorite fountain place. It's and nice. I think we're going to find something pretty fast yeah. here. So why don't we take a stroll? Okay, okay. let's go. The great thing about a fountain in the garden, yeah. it has a very calming effect, the sound of water. Mm -hmm. It is, yeah. Um, as you can feel when you walk into the space, I mean, isn't this beautiful? Yeah. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Yeah. That's nope. so pretty, that ring with the, with the little this big. One, but, yeah, it's a little big. The idea of yeah. it's really pretty. Size-wise, what we're looking for is something that's going to be about 27 to 30 inches height. That copper. Oh, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. But the, that is that too wide? Well, it's the, the same. Height? It's the same problem because it is too too big proportion wise. Oh, uh, okay. But yeah, um, you don't see copper used very often, and it's very unique. Yeah. Yeah, we like the copper. It's beautiful. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. And, and it would match the kind of go off that since we're doing a brownish kind of gate now, that might look really pretty with exactly. it too. Exactly. And also the stone. You know, the uh, oh, Arizona yeah. flagstone is in the pinkish tone, and so yeah. is the copper. Yeah. Yeah. So that would work really well, but we got to find something that's a little bit smaller. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Let's keep looking. Uh, onward. It's unanimous. Hand hammered copper is the way to go. And just around the corner is a lovely little urn. Size wise, this is perfect. Yeah. Um, it looks like I could picture it in this space. Yeah. Oh, I can too, definitely. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, I think it's gorgeous. I think that would definitely be the one. I love it. Yeah. I'd say let's do it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Let's go by. It. Okay. Okay. With such a beautiful fountain, it's going to take patience to wait for the rest of the yard. See the incredible transformation when Landscaper's Challenge returns. Welcome back to Landscaper's Challenge. It's been a few months since Craig and Tara Rossi first saw Scott Zucker's design for their front yard. His plan was to turn a yard full of asphalt into a park-like setting. Did he pull it off? Let's find out. We love it. It's great. It's so pretty. It's just, it came together even more spectacular than I ever thought it would. The surprising thing was once we took out the circular driveway was how much bigger the space seemed. It makes our whole house look bigger and the whole front yard. Scott joins Craig and Tara to enjoy the final results. After all the hard work, their front yard is like a whole new world. It looks even more amazing than it did in the drawings and in my head it just came together so so great we have our own little park now yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you told us and we believe it yeah Your own like, private park. it's great. just like the fact that what used to be a clutter of shrubbery is now an inviting sitting area just inside a new fence and detailed pedestrian gate it's very very peaceful and i really really like it and i love the fountain. Yeah, great the fountain. job on the fountain. You installed it yourself. I know. Yeah, I did. Let everybody know that. I installed right. it myself. <laughs> oh, wait, you helped me dig the hole, so. Yeah, it was a team effort, It for looks sure. amazing. That was a good find, too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. What I love about the maples and the way we've got three surrounding this area is that mm -hmm. when they grow up, it's going to give you some shade. It's going to give you a sense of, like, an enclosure, like an outdoor room. Mm -hmm. The old circular driveway has been transformed into an open rolling lawn. Scott created berms or small mounds in the yard to add interest and depth. It'll give it more of a sense of playfulness and, uh -huh. and, and size, yeah. which it does. Yeah, it just looks so bright. Mm -hmm. Instead of the asphalt and ivy, this side of the yard is now a beautiful shade garden with a variety of ferns. These are known as mother ferns. Mm -hmm. And what I love about mother ferns is their color. Tasmanian and Australian ferns are taller and offer contrasting shades of green. New Guinea impatiens will be in bloom for most of the year. The great thing about New Guinea impatiens is they're a lot stronger than the, the regular impatiens that most people know of. Uh -huh. They'll get about, they'll get 18 inches in diameter oh, and wow. almost as high. On the other side of the yard, Tara and Craig have a brand new driveway and motorized gate. A part of the yard that was once ignored is now an herb garden that they planted themselves. We've had our hard work in the planting the pot. <laughs> I love the it. one thing that we did ourselves. Now, do you cook with... Oh, Herbs yeah, we do, yeah. Good. We love, like, we cook a lot with the basil, and we got two different kinds of basil. Mm -hmm. Two and kinds then of parsley. Two, yeah, parsley. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, I love it. And That's we've great. got all these great, we got rosemary and oregano with an Italian pot over there. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. The old citrus trees had to go, but were replaced with new, healthier varieties of lemon, lime, and orange. 
The entryway has been extended and covered in flagstone to match the new pathway and the stone on the front of the house. Now, remember the landing was much shorter. It right? was, yeah. Um, I and forgot about that. Much more welcoming when you have large groups of people right yeah. in the front door. Yeah. It looks so natural. I really forgot we did that. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's right. No, this is and all new. We, well, Scott, I just want to tell you, we are thrilled with the design. I know. It's really so perfect. beautiful. Uh, it's beautiful. It it's casual it's and comfortable. It's just what we were looking for. It I'm really glad. is. I'm glad. Yeah. I mean, that makes me very, very happy. It's important to me that I have happy clients. Yeah. Yes. Looking forward to watching yeah. it all grow in. And, yeah. Yeah. Shadows from Tara and Craig's existing sycamores are a beautiful complement to their new yard. Scott also has one final touch that he'd like to add. Ta-da! Yeah. Oh, oh it looks so neat. Perfect. The stand that. looks awesome. Isn't that great? Yeah. Oh, man. What do you think, Decker? What it's do you good. think? You're speechless, I know. Yeah. Spe <laughs> <laughs> With a front yard that they can actually enjoy, Scott Zucker has given Craig and Tara a much more welcoming approach to their home. Thanks for joining us on Landscapers Challenge. We'll see you next time when we put three more landscape designers to the test. I'm Marianne Coran.